Hey everybody, it's me, Aggie, with Artist Heart Studio and The Painter's Journey. It's the morning after, <laughs> and I always think of it, it's Christmas Day, the next day when we get to come down and see how our creation turned out. So here it is. This is the Teardrop Bead Resin Butterfly. I, I made it yesterday as a live. <laughs> here it is, lucky. Turned out really awesome. And using the eight by eight inch substrate underneath, I use this, um, I think I may have called it a canvas panel, so forgive me, I meant to call it, this is a cradled wood panel that I bought on Amazon. It's one that wasn't really the best quality. It had this weird crack in it. For the most part, these usually are a great buy and they're usually really great quality, but this one wasn't, So, but that's okay. So I use this one as a support under my 12 by 12 canvas. And let me just show you that super quick. Let's see if I can take you out of the mount and show you that. Hello, hello, Christy and Dorothy. Just gonna turn the camera around. So this was my setup. This is what I did. I used these four riser cups, put this eight by eight inch panel on there. And then I put my 12 by 12 canvas. Here's the back of it. I put this on here. Oh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. It's hard to do with one hand. There, there we go. So, and then I make, made sure it was centered. And what that does is it supports the canvas while you are adding your glass, your beads. These are acrylic beads, so obviously they're not as heavy as glass, but um, even the resin will cause it to kind of sink just a little bit. So I just think it's a really good idea to support your canvas. And the way that I did that this time was with the, um, the wood. So, um, but you could use styrofoam and that's what I've done in the past. So anyway, this is how it turned out. Um, these beads were all from Hobby Lobby in the jewelry section. The canvas was a Dick Blick Premier uh, Gallery Depth Canvas. And I did this yesterday. What time was it? Around, I don't know, it was the early evening, I think, when I did this. So um, it's still semi-soft, the resin, and I still have the drips on the back. I didn't tape my sides. So I need to remove those. But I like it when it's just a little bit harder and all you do is heat it up a little bit with your heat gun and then use a paint knife to um, scrape along there and they pop right off. So that's what I'm going to do when they get a little bit harder. So anyway, that's it. Thought I would share that with you, share you how, show you how it turned out. Very, very happy with it. I wish I could take it out into the sunshine and show you how gorgeous it looks when the sun hits it, but it's not sunny yet this morning. Hopefully it will be later. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. And if you know any people that you think would be interested in knowing about this, um, please share this video with them. Have a good one, guys. Bye.